Here is something I strongly believe in. No pressure, no diamonds. And in this video, I will take you through how I'm usually spending my days preparing for the biggest examination of my life. Are you ready for it? Here we go. After waking up at 7:30 and cleaning my room, I start with emails because that is something I've been ignoring for most of the week. My name is Anuj. I'm a third year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's a study with me episode. Why? Because I got a holiday from the ANT posting as the residents in Maharashtra are going on a strike. That means only one thing. I'm going to make this day very productive and I'm going to take you through with it. So I just did some work on my laptop and now it's time to make the objective list that we're going to follow throughout the day. This is the objectives list and I'm using a normal paper to write down whatever I want to do today. And that basically involves watching a lot of lectures and reading some part of a book. This is my current desk setup. It is 90 degrees to what it originally was because it allows more light to come inside. So the first topic for the day is doing surgery and we have got around 8 lectures that we want to complete today. I know it's a lot but with 2x it's more like doing 4 lectures. And by do surgery I don't mean I'm going to perform some surgery. It's just I'm watching some lectures of surgery. Now what I'm doing over here is called as the endocrine part and that is dealing with all the different endocrine systems. Now over here I am studying thyroid and we are talking about different inflammatory disorders and tumors of the gland. Surgery is one of the most important subjects that we have. It is going to be as a separate paper in the next examination on day 2. What I am also doing over here is annotating all the different notes. While watching the lectures, I usually keep something to drink with me. In this example, it's a coffee. And that's because sometimes you can feel sleepy while watching the lecture. And allowing yourself to drink something breaks away that sleepiness. I just completed three lectures from the thyroid surgery module and it was just amazing. It was a bit confusing too because there are a lot of conditions in thyroid which are kind of the same. This question asked a lot like what do you do since you have such a huge amount of screen time. So I you know after every 20-30 minutes I just pause something that I'm doing. I you know roam around here and there and look at my far vision. I'm also annotating the notes which I'm seeing in the lecture. So they basically help me revise stuff faster. So next is going to the case of neck swelling. So a little bit of backstory. When I was in NEET UG, my tuition classes were from 8 to 1. And in those classes, the first lecture was from 8 to 10. The rest was from 10, 15 to 12. So what I'm doing is that I'm watching the first five lectures considering it to be first two hours and the next five lectures considered to be the next two hours. So that's the basic theme over here. One thing that really helps me is watching the lectures at 2x because that reduces the time by half. All right, moving on to the next series of lectures. After this short break of 10 to 15 minutes recording everything, I start to do the same again. While annotating the notes, I am using a color coding system in which I am highlighting only what the sir has highlighted in the lectures because those are direct questions and I am writing down the things which are not given in the notes. The most important things are highlighted from green whereas the less important things are highlighted from the orange marker. This system allows me to classify the notes in the same time that I am making them which will actually help me in my first revision. So I've been getting a lot of messages from students all across India saying that they're going to join the medical college very very soon. What should they do? So I usually tell them to start off with anatomy because that is the most difficult subject that you're going to face in first year. To really get a head start from your batchmates, you can start off anatomy using this online resource called as Hub. They have got great online videos available which explain to you everything in detail and in a fun manner. And they've also got 3D anatomy atlas which you can use to visualize whatever you're reading in BDC. The cost of Hub is very very cheap compared to the value it has to offer. And if you use my link in the description, you can get a complete 50% discount on that price. So if you're interested, make sure to click on the link in the description. So that concludes the module on endocrine surgery. Now what is left is the gastrointestinal surgery, which is the main part of this main book. 
I'm tired and it's almost time for lunch but I have just now realized that doing all of this since the morning I have forgotten to take my shower so I'll be right back you stay right over here hi everyone I'm coming back from my lunch and I also had a great shower and can you guess what time it is it is you gotta get back to surgery o'clock five more lectures of surgery and then we're gonna enjoy in the evening So if you're wondering why I'm doing surgery right now instead of doing community medicine or something else because in this month I plan to complete at least one final year subject. This is currently what my current goal is and after surgery is done I'll shift my focus on to community medicine. In the end I'm really really scared about the next examination even after making a few videos about it. A lot to study. While I was chilling out, I was watching the interviews of the different people who have topped the NEET PG examination this year. And one of those guys, uh, he went from 1 lakh rank all the way to 135. And that guy told me something very very important. He said that initially when you're going to give the test, your scores aren't going to be good. But as soon as you do your first revision, it is going to be one jump. Second, third, and by the time you're on the fourth revision and you give the test, it's going to be a massive increase from what you first started. First priority complete all the subjects possible. That's what I'm trying to do over here. Let's go, let's get this done. Alright, onwards with GIT surgery now. The first part is the esophagus, as you can see. We start off with tracheoesophageal fistula and end it with different infections of the esophagus. There's a lot of correlation between surgery and pathology. So now I'm realizing what my seniors used to say. Pathology is something which is going to keep coming again and again in your syllabus. And if you're a second year med student, I would focus all my attention to studying second year MBBS very nicely rather than going over to final year subjects right now. Because if you master them right there, it's going to be easy for you in the future. By the way, for this video I had to record for almost 4 hours and edit for almost 10 hours. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe the channel in 2 seconds, it would make up for all of that. And also while you're at it, hit the like button please. Alright, so I've completed the esophagus module. It had 3 extremely bulky lectures. And now it's finally done. It's around 5.20 right now. I just wanna go outside now and you know, relax, chill out a little bit. So let's just do that. But I need to get out of this chair. It's been such a long day. By the way, if you know this guy, then uh, you know that this guy has grown pretty tall. So this is oxygen, this is my plant. And it started out this small. So in the same way, my preparation is starting out this small and uh, it's gonna go way higher because every single day this plant is gonna grow a little bit larger than yesterday. So that's my entire goal. This is my motivation for next. So oxygen, you're the best. After patting my best buddy, I make my way onto the rooftop to get some fresh air and enjoy the sunset while talking on the phone with my friends. We immediately come up with a beautiful plan to meet up. I do look kind of beaten up, so we've just come up with a plan to go to this place called as the Chattori Street, uh, which is here in Nagpur. So I'm just gonna go and get ready to go over there. The sun is beautiful, and so are the birds. Do you feel like you waiting for the part when life will open the door? The door. That's what she said. This gonna be a right time for you. Right Honestly, meeting your friends after a hard day of work is really, really refreshing. And it's kind of a positive feedback. I don't know what Abhijit was trying to do here. When you feel like you have lost it, there's a treasure sitting inside of you. I'm just 
and it was so refreshing meeting all of those guys outside the classroom and outside the campus and we should do this more by the way i posted some stories on instagram and if you aren't following me over there consider doing so i post regularly over there also that's a lot of self promotion i know right so now i've got two more things on my list first of them is to read ent because i have got my ot tomorrow and second of all i have to do community medicine i'm just going to do that for one hour hi so in short the update is i haven't studied a word <laughs> Well, because once you got an iPad with you, let's just say your ride doesn't really go to good notes. It actually goes more into YouTube. Let me just study this ear part once and for all, and let's just be over with this. Okay, let's go. I'm using a practical book of ENT over here and reading about how to take the history of the patient and examine the patient with respect to the ear. And as you can see, these are the notes which I'm preparing. And I'm using this technique of making a mind map where you map out everything with the help of flowcharts. which really helps you keep all the different things in your mind because most of the times it is not linear and everything could get jumbled up inside your brain pretty fast all right so i'm done with that part and now it's time to sleep that's it for this episode and i really hope that you enjoyed if you did please make sure to subscribe because it really means a lot and it would just take you 2 seconds to do that it takes me literally hours to make content like this anyways hit the like button if you haven't already let's hope for 20000 likes on this one anyways around 12 or 5 right now and i'm going to go to sleep it's been a long day tomorrow i have an ot in the morning so it's going to be exciting anyways bye I really hope you enjoyed and if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that like button right now it would give me a lot of motivation to keep making videos like this anyways thanks for watching it's your boy anuj i'll catch you in the next one bye